new videos every day. We've been getting a lot of comments and requests and emails to do a video on healthy breakfast ideas. But before we even get started, I would like to ask you what you think are healthy breakfast ideas. So if you would just take the time, pause the video real quick, let us know what you think is healthy because I'm real curious to see what you say. And then once you leave your comments and your ideas, go ahead and push play and watch the rest of the video because today we are talking about healthy breakfast ideas for anyone. Now I'm sure you've heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day and I totally agree with that. If you wake up in the morning, you have got basically gone through an eight hour or more fast and your body needs to get replenished so that you can produce energy throughout the rest of the day. So if you are one of those people that skips breakfast, you really need to make an effort to start eating breakfast because you're missing out on a lot of the energy that your body can't make because you don't have any nutrients to make the energy from. So go ahead and eat breakfast. Now before we get started about healthy breakfast, I gotta talk a little bit about the bad breakfast and the unhealthy breakfast that a majority of Americans eat. So we got, you know, the ham and cheese croissants, we from the fast food restaurants, we have the bacon, eggs, cheese, you know, tons and tons of meats at breakfast. We got the people that skip breakfast, we have the people that drink coffee and don't eat anything, we have the people that drink Cokes and don't eat anything. Um, we have people that stop off at the donut shop to get donuts or kolaches. And so there's a ton of things out there that you can get quick, easy, convenient if you're, you know, running late or you just want something quick. But that's where you can really make some dangerous decisions because it can affect your health. So that's why we're going to talk about healthy options that are very quick and easy to make. So I'm going to give you five healthy breakfast ideas and they are all under 400 calories. And the important thing to know when you're eating breakfast is you wanna have a balance of healthy carbohydrates, healthy protein, and healthy fats. So that's what these five breakfast options have. They're balanced, they're healthy, they're convenient because they're easy to make, and they're definitely gonna put you on the right path to start your day. Number one healthy breakfast choice is a smoothie. Now, I did go into more detail in a different video called Super Healthy Smoothie and actually make the smoothie in front of you so it's real easy to watch and to do it yourself. And that smoothie is a little bit different than the one that I'm telling you today. Um, but basically, you start off with eight ounces of soy milk or some type of liquid, whether you choose regular milk, soy milk, water, uh, flavored juice, you know, some kind of fruit juice. Uh, but make sure whether whatever liquid you're using is not sweetened. You don't need extra sugar added to it because then on top of that, you're going to add a cup of frozen fruit. And that's, you know, fresh frozen fruit, meaning that that hasn't, there's no syrup added, there's no sugar added. You just want the frozen berries is what I use. Um, and or organic when, you know, as much as possible. You're going to use half a lemon, which is going to give it some tartness one tablespoon of flaxseed when you want to use the ground flaxseed uh, you're able to absorb the the healthy fats a little bit easier um, you also want to use one tablespoon of coconut extra virgin coconut oil and i did a video on coconut as a superfood so watch that it's really really helpful to learn all about coconut um, also do one tablespoon of goji juice which is going to give you a ton of antioxidants one scoop of vanilla protein powder and you can use whey, you can use hemp protein. There's there's different options out there. Um, and you just blend it all up in the blender. It literally takes less than five minutes and you can drink it while you're on your way to work or you know sip it real quick at home. And it's a great, easy breakfast option. Number two is the yogurt parfait. Now this isn't the yogurt parfait from McDonald's. This is the yogurt parfait that you're gonna make at home. Start off with six ounces of plain yogurt, which is about three-fourths of a cup. And I said plain, you don't want to get the vanilla or the fruit flavored because they always have added extra sugar. 
Uh, then you can add three strawberries. You can slice them up or half a cup of fresh blueberries, which uh, blueberries are the better choice if you're not buying organic because they don't carry as many pesticides as strawberries do. One tablespoon of flaxseed, ground flaxseed. About 10 almonds will give you a little bit of crunch. Also, a third of a cup of either hemp cereal or you can do grape nuts or something like that. And that will give you some really good vitamins and minerals from a healthy carbohydrate. And then to sweeten it, you can use a little stevia or agave nectar, which are both natural sweeteners, and a little vanilla extract to give it a little bit more flavor. So there you go. For 400 calories, you have a very healthy breakfast. Number three are breakfast tacos. Now, I know that there are a ton of people that like breakfast tacos. There, you know, people are always selling them. In the mornings, I always see lines at restaurants and places where they have them. So I know that this is a popular item. And so here's how you can make it at home so that you actually know what you're getting and you know that it's healthy. So start off with two corn tortillas and get organic torn tor corn tortillas if possible. And then scramble two eggs and put that in the bottom of the tortilla. A half a cup of black beans, or you can use vegetarian refried beans, but black beans are really a, a great option. Um, and then sprinkle a little cheese, tons of pico and salsa, and, and fresh pico and salsa, because then you're not getting a lot of the extra salt, but you're getting a good source of vegetables. And there you go, quick, easy, and you don't have to pay any money, you know, when you're on your way to work and wait in line for the, where the people are buying their breakfast tacos. Number four is an English muffin. So you can start off with one sprouted grain or sourdough English muffin and use one tablespoon of almond butter, one tablespoon of jam, so it's going to be fresh preserves, no extra sugar added again. And then you want to have one boiled egg and half a cup of blueberries. So with all that combination, you're getting fruit, you're getting uh, protein from the almond butter and from the the uh, English muffin and then you're also of course getting a good carbohydrate because of the English muffin and then the egg is of course providing more protein. Number five is oatmeal. Now I recently did a video on buckwheat and it, it's a superfood and so in place of oatmeal you can always use buckwheat it's known as kasha, K-A-S-H-A, and you can cook it just like you would oatmeal. And also quinoa is a grain, and that's also a superfood. It's a complete protein, and you can cook that like oatmeal too. So there's several different options you can choose here. But start off with one cup of whether you're choosing oatmeal or kasha or quinoa, and then you can add, uh, cook that with three-fourths cup of milk. Uh, you can use 2% milk. You can use soy milk. Um, if you are using soy milk, get the unsweetened kind because you don't need the extra sugar. Um, and then go ahead and add half a cup of fresh blueberries or you can do a third of a cup of dried apricots. Dried apricots are a really good source of minerals. And, and get the kinds that are unsweetened. You don't need the extra sugar again. Uh, one tablespoon of sunflower seeds, which is going to give you some healthy fats. And then uh, one tablespoon of hemp protein. So all that combined is a very fulfilling meal, and it's providing all the nutrients you need to start your day. So here are five healthy breakfast options, and they're easy to make. And the other thing is, if you start your day off with nutrient-dense breakfast, not only are you going to feel good, you're going to be healthier, and you're not going to be as hungry throughout the rest of the day. And it's just really that simple. If you eat better, you will feel better. And I also want to make a comment that um, please take the time to rate the video. It's actually very common that we will maybe get 2,000 hits, 2,000 views on our videos, and maybe only 90 people will rate the video. And the more people that rate the video, it actually helps us and it helps people find the video so that more people can be helped. So please rate the video. I will see you next time. Bye.